Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're doing number eight on the new General Curriculum Math subtest. You'll notice it involves a number line with values between zero and four. I'll start by reading this problem over, and then we'll go about interpreting the number line and solving. It says, use the number line below to answer the question that follows. They give us a number line. It says, which of the following numbers is located between point A and point B on the number line above? So we're really, we're interested in finding out which one of these values falls into this region here. Anything less than A, we're going to cross out, and anything more than B, we're going to cross out. So this is our, this is our goal. This is that between area. So, um, so in order to do this, we got to have a sense of, of values of A and B. Now I know that they, they're greater than zero but less than four. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, since it's been divided up, I'm going to count up these spaces. Now it looks like the spaces are evenly placed, so we're going to use that as a way to get values of A and B. Let's first count them up together, okay? Very carefully put your pencil on the page or on the screen and count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Four is made up of sixteen spaces. If you wanted to think about it like this, sixteen spaces, each one of those, each one of these uh, units of four can be divided into four mini spaces. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to take 16, I'm going to divide by 4 and find out that 1, 2, 3, 4, every 4 of those notches is equal to 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that means that each one of these little notches is a fourth. And I, if I have 4 of those, I get 1. 1 fourth times 4 is 1. So the values of these are really 1, 2, 3, 4. So look, we now know that A is uh, it's greater than 1. B is a, a little bit more than 3, but less than 4. We have these approximations. And we can actually now find exact values for A. We know it's 1, 1 plus one, two spaces, so that's a fourth plus a fourth. So that means here A, A is going to be equal to one and, and two fourths or one and a half. And B here, well B is three and one fourth. So we got, we got B as three and one fourth. Now uh, we're looking for that section in the middle there this part right here. Let's see if we can evaluate these fractions and find out what falls in this middle category. A, B, C, D. Well, I'm just curious right now, can you, just looking at the values given, like three and a half, what could you say about three and a half? Three and a half falls in here. It's greater than B, so we could cross that out, right? And what about this one right here, C, two and a quarter? Well, two and a quarter, guess what, team? That's the answer, because that falls in right in between one and a half and three-fourths. So really, once we have a value of A and B and have interpreted the diagram, we can start solving. The answer here is C. Let's just do A and B really quick. Three-eighths is approximately four-eighths, which is approximately one-half. That would fall somewhere early somewhere early on that would fall before the a right less than one so that's not going to work nine sixteenths it's approximately eight sixteenths which is equal to again one half which would fall before the a early in the number line you see team i'm not trying to get exact values i only have two three minutes to do these problems 
So once I've interpreted this diagram, I'm trying to go through these problems as fast as I can. Whatever strategy works to get me to the answer a little bit faster is going to be very important. So you don't have to go all the way and find the exact fractions or the exact decimals, decimal representations for A and B. All you need to know is that A and B, they're less than one and a half. And that C is right in the middle. So it's got to be C. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.